Every year, the Athenians gathered to have a massive public funeral for all the dead who died in war. And the Athenians, as an imperial state and an ancient warrior state, were engaged in warfare almost all the time. So there were almost always a few soldiers who had to be commemorated. But in 431, which is the um, year that the Peloponnesian War first broke out, there were, of course, far more people, far more young men had been killed, um, most of them actually in northern Greece and around the islands than had for many, many years. So Pericles was actually asked, not because he was general, but because he was regarded as having the most beautiful voice in the city, to deliver the annual speech in honour of the war dead. extraordinarily moving occasion in the civic calendar because of course many of the war dead were never going to be brought back in any form at all. There were empty coffins which were ceremonially placed there so that people could remember their dead even if they hadn't been brought back. Others were brought back just as bones. And he gave his speech and we are so fortunate because Thucydides, the great Athenian uh, historian who was certainly a friend of Pericles and was almost certainly actually there and an eyewitness to this extraordinary occasion recorded the speech. Another thing to remember about this extraordinary speech, which is very, very solemn, very, very elevated, full of grandeur, is that Pericles avoided really blatant nationalistic or jingoistic rhetoric of the kind that we have in some other funeral speeches that we have from antiquity, and instead painted a picture of what he saw, the glories of the Athenian democratic system that these men had died to defend. It's the only occasion in the entire civic annual calendar where not only the citizen men, but all the women attended to. The women, the orphan children, the bereaved old ladies, and indeed the resident foreigners. So this was the one occasion in the civic calendar where all of Athens was addressed together and we know that women are listening. Pericles' own speech contained very famous lines that you may have heard, even though you don't know they came from Pericles' speech, as recorded by Thucydides, like, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. And many other beautiful lines in it made it so influential that actually Lincoln modeled part of the Gettysburg Address on Pericles' funeral speech and there are resonances of it. In Barack Obama's inauguration speech and in other speeches he gave around the time when he began his presidency. Yeah.